Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on the Republic Swamp Speeder and Freako Speeders from 2010, of course. So, on the front of the only manual entry I have for this, I have the Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and also that interesting border that we've seen since like mid-2009 till early 2010, of course, and also a picture of the set in action on probably Slukamai or something, Choking Hazard, and eight and set number eight zero nine one on the back kind of went on the online survey. And then add of Lego Club and add for some uh, two thousand nine sets that there were. And then actually two different promotional posters together in this manual. Kind of interesting, but yeah. And then also a little ad for some other sets that there were at the time, but yeah. And then add of all the mini figs included with this one, and also some of the features of it. And the pieces that come with the set, and the last with depths. Now on to the mini figs included. So from left to right, we would have a traditional Phase Two Clone Trooper, of which with some quite nice torso printing, and not only leg printing, which which all human minifigures of this set all come with, but also with this helmet piece, which plain black headpiece, and it does have a hollow space in it, which was a common thing for them, which which then made a slight return with the, all of the Knights of Ren, in, and also Weasel in the 2018-20 sets, of course. And then next to which we have a Barris Offy. And of course, this probably first in time of her, but in a traditional minifig form instead of being the uh, light up figure versions. And of course, aside from that, the like uh, take off the black hood piece and the uh, head piece, and interesting color for that, and also so, so nice, and also quite nice face printing for what it is. Yeah, quite nice face printing, obviously, and good torso printing, and yeah. And next to which is what you're looking at one, but it does this set does come with two battle droids, of which, oh, but otherwise, same since 99 and 1999, and also straight arm, same since 2007, of course. And also super battle droid, which only one of in this set, but yeah. And for Freako Speeder, we which have Anakin Skywalker in this uh, like dark blue coat outfit, of course, and of course wielding the blue lightsaber as well. And of course, hood piece, same as what Hoth Han Solo also had, but also what's a little bit different is this like odd symbol that there is this right on it. And last of which is a Freako Warrior or something, yeah. And this is which only time we've ever had this uh, mini thing, of course. Well, whereas for this like, like chest and head type piece where it's all one piece, which they do from time to time. But, uh, hang on. And of course, how that works, kind of like Chewbacca's and whatnot. And all of which is plain bright gray, of course. And of course, wielding the classic spear piece. Of course, you see that single mohawk there. Oh, whoops! And some quite nice detailing on his back, obviously. Also, if you're thinking it's soft rubber, no, it's actually solid plastic, of course. And as for back torso printings on each of these, 
at least the clone trooper quite good for what it is and as for Anakin Skywalker as the witch this face printing quite the same as the traditional version of Anakin that comes in most of the sets but however this one of which of which with the snow mask and goggles of which which is the only thing exclusive to this minifig, so kind of interesting how that is, where one face print is just exclusive to, oh, which does come and appear on other sets, but it also is double sided in just one, so, which we don't see often, but yeah. And in terms of minifig selections, that for the Freako Speeder, I think maybe uh, Obi Wan and Kenobi in this snow attire, also, or Ahsoka Tano also in this snow outfit, also would have been nice to have included. But, or maybe if there was a remake of this Freako Speeder set, then maybe that would have been included. But yeah, and that is it with the mini pigs of which. First off for the sets is the Freako Speeder. This is which quite interesting little ship that we, or vehicle that we haven't got to see any for remakes of or anything. So aside from that, of which quite interesting build for as is. And of course, and of course it was quite good for the twenty dollars that it was at the time. But yeah, and well, this vehicle from first glance. Which looks almost like an X-wing, but without its large wings, or like an X-wing, but put together with a land speeder and or a course. But yeah. But as for the front uh, nose section, I'll zoom in. Front nose section, which it does have the large jagged slope piece of which, with a sticker on it, and also a couple of clear studs represented as headlights, of course. And then also have a little tile piece on there, also, or a couple of which, also with stickers, of course. And also, do you have a couple of mini fig climbing pickaxes there? But I'm not sure if that's for the mini figs to hold on to, of course. And also, does have a little bit there, just acting as a greebling, of course. But as for the like center bit of which, which is for this main cockpit area, which as you see has a single brown slope on there, and also the like uh, controls area, which is on this like upper part that the canopy bit comes down on to. If I take this part of it off, and you can see a little crate on there. Maybe I like pull that out. Oh, whoops. Oh, anyways. It, which does have the, like, classic binocular type thing piece there. And, of course, this dome piece is kind of the same as this one, but in solid white, of course. And also a single sticker with the Republic symbol on it. And as for the uh, farther back part of which, as you can see, does have those classic, uh, cl or classic space engine type of pieces, and of course, probably the last times we've ever seen those in sets, of course. But of course, with a couple stickers on them, obviously, and a court, and also a jagged slope to fill the void, fill it in. Although it does cut off just a teensy bit, but it still works out. And for the back part of which, which are these like little dish pieces with the like clear blue dish pieces as well and held in by uh, a hammer type pieces. Although I think traditional lightsaber rod would work out just fine. And as for the back part of which, nothing but just other various plates of course. And bottom part which as you see made up of just larger inverted jagged slopes and 
also these uh, rounded type pieces on of course but yeah And so now that's it for the Frito Speeder. And now onto the Republic Swamp Speeder. Which, as you can see, quite interesting for what it is. You mean, and of course, this is which one that we did get a few times prior and after. But of course, at one time, in like 2014, which got it like a little bit smaller, but just as in the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack and a few years prior to this but with like with Wookie Catabram yeah but as for like this front area which does have good use of some of those like curved type pieces there and and of course have about four of the spring or flick fire missiles of course which done with little telescope pieces of course, make it look like there still is blasters on there. And also, of course, there. And also, just like other versions of it, have the like large jagged slopes, but in this time have like stickers with some red on them. And also, the back part, which have two seats that, uh, which also have the like large, or I mean, have the, like, uh, jagged slope pieces, but with some controls printed on, too, of course. And also, like, other versions have, like, one of these uh, turbine pieces, but also with this little, little action, or, like, little engine piece, and also a little turbine piece in it, but the uh, one that came in the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack in 2014, which didn't have that since it was a battle pack one, but yeah. But also, and of course, does have a few plate pieces with uh, ratchet joints in them to make the upper bit of it, and also to kind of keep it in place. And as for the main feature, is that as you see, it does have a couple of wheel pieces there, and these like technic beams that it also, if you hold it there, and it makes them makes the front wheel so it's turn back and forth and of course makes it turn quite well and of course if this were made nowadays I think these pieces would be probably clear dish pieces but yeah so this so for as is quite good in general and also good for the time but yeah final verdict. Overall, I think these are which are quite cool sets for the time. Like the Swan, even though the Swan Spear, one that we did get a few times prior and after, of course, and also, but also good minifig selection, although I think just one more Phase 2 Clone Trooper would have been nice to have be included, but even since that's one we, since we don't see very many Phase 2 Clone Troopers very much nowadays, but at least in this basic kind of style, but yeah. But as for Freeco Speeder, uh, which quite an interesting one that we've never seen a remake of, but maybe since it's in like just a couple episodes of the Clone Wars, but if you remember in episodes of the Clone Wars that this vehicle is featured in, then there's a few other mini things that they also could have included like Obi-Wan Kenobi or um, Ahsoka and whatnot or any other any other Jedi's of course but if maybe if this were remade nowadays I think they could have included that but and I guess also like little snow fortress as well yeah snow fortress as well also common with the scenes of the episodes with this one yeah and also if it, it were remade nowadays, I would expect there to be uh, spring-loaded launchers, of course. 
add in some true playability to it instead of just, you know, swooshing around and whatnot, yeah. So at least they kind of did out signs of the times. Like, got plenty good for cheap price, at least good for their price points, but kind of small for that, but yeah. And also, or otherwise, a little bit large for the prices, but yeah. And if you're looking, so now if you're looking to, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, still looking to get these sets, then definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.